Let the Bible Speak with your speaker, Brett Hickey. I met with my new Muslim acquaintance several times and learned that although Muslims claim to believe the Bible, when they say Bible, they refer only to the Old Testament and the Gospels. They believe Paul is the ringleader of what they consider the errors and corruptions of Christianity. Whereas Jesus teaches the twelve who became apostles to call God our Father, Matthew 6, 9 and Luke 11, 2, Muslims say that such talk is blasphemy. Muslims most despise Christianity because Muslims worship one God, Allah, and maintain Christians worship three gods. Where the Gospels present Jesus' teaching that God will send another comforter, John 16, 7, Muslims say this is actually a prophecy of Muhammad coming instead of the Holy Spirit. Confirm their belief in the Bible. When they tell you the Jews corrupted the Old Testament and Christians corrupted the New Testament to promote their teachings, ask them to read aloud prophecies of Christ in the Old Testament. I prefer Isaiah 53 because there are so many consecutive prophecies that point clearly to Jesus. Then, ask if they know who Isaiah is speaking about. 